Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you guys can use in your own matches. Today we're watching China versus Korea. Um, I'm assuming these guys are team members, but I am not 100% sure. Let's get into it. Give me one second. I want to see what the weight is here. Minus 42 final. Are these... Minus 42 kilograms? I didn't even know men's divisions went that low. A lot of right leg action from both parties from the front. Oh, nice try. Oh, actually just not a try. He actually got it. Nice here by China. That was pretty sick. One more time. I'll watch this in half speed. Oh, let me do it in half speed. Push. Uh, Blue is not paying attention, or Korea is not paying attention to China at all there. He was just kind of looking at the Hogu. Um, not sure what he was looking at. Not looking for the kick. Guy hitting the head anyway. And for holding. Nice try. Okay, so that was not a bad adjustment. After this little exchange happened, the last two or three kicks have been initiated with right leg. Uh, Knowing that the right leg forward is coming up, not so, not a bad idea to do that left leg back kick here. Nice try. That would have been really cool if that scored. Good idea, though. Little flick to the face. Do they score front-handed punches? If they do, this the sliding forward punch is a good idea. I haven't seen one. I've only seen it score like one time, so. Oh, aggressive on the holding calls here. Blue trying to change target. Nice try with the little flick there. Whoa. For what? His, I think his hand's going around the back, and that's what they're calling. That's that's the uh, that's the call, I think. Nice try. Good guess. Guess wrong. See if Red's building off anything here. If he's just poking, no, left. Good idea for the punch. Blue trying to change stance. Okay, you gotta lean forward a little bit more when you do that. Uh, he's he he knows you know the back kick. He can't throw the back kick anymore. You have to throw something else. A little bit low shot, maybe. I shot the not a bond there. At this point, so a lot of a lot of initiation out of China with our front leg. Um, he knows that back kick is coming though. Blue did a good job switching legs. I would, if I were Korea at this point, what I would do is I would switch legs into open stance, nullify that front leg with a little bit of cancel, and then maybe casually switch back to your left and then throw, try that trap again if you wanted to do that. If you didn't want to do that, um, you could switch to open stance and try punching. Um, I'm, that's a go-to because I fought you know kind of heavier divisions. Uh, but yeah, besides that, China's taking the match to you. You're you're down a lot of points already. Uh, the, the way to come back would be through spins. I don't see it coming through the head kicks because the defense is pretty good. But you can't just throw that back kick too often. This is an example of throwing that defense too often. Re offense can counter it. It's not working. You got to change up the variables again and then come back to it later when he's not suspecting. Got the arm blocked back there. Is that a holding call again? Yeah, that's kind of rough, man. I don't know if I would have called that as a ref, but I'm also not a ref, so what do I know? It's a warning because that's the fourth gum jong. If he gets one more gum jong, then um, that's going to be the round win for Korea. Oh, pretty good here. This is new. So the reason this is almost connects, this is a really good idea. Almost connects doesn't fully connect. The reason it almost connects is because most of the clinch game so far has been in the clinch and then uh, to the body. I don't know if he's even tried a headshot yet. So this coming through the middle. So coming to the headshot after all going on body is already deceptive. Going up the middle is something even more rare. What a pretty high chance of connecting. Unfortunately, it didn't. Right here. This is nice try. 
trying to really get getting a shoulder up in the way though. Oh, this is scary. This is so scary as blue. You can't even like fight back. Okay, okay. At least you know some some on the other side here. The blue, it's it's you screw up uh, a little bit, and then refs misinterprets it. You're uh, you're that's an automatic round loss. Nice try, changing target now. China's really good at defending his head. You got to hammer the body a little bit more. Um, in the clinch, body, and then head, and then head, and then head. Oh, he's, he locked it down. Such interesting calls happening here. That would have been the only way to win it had he landed that. Round loss. Fell down. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. So so blue's opening up with that up the middle because it almost connected. That's not a bad idea. He also knows China's front leg's coming, so this back kick trap is good. If I were him, this is not a bad idea. This weapon is like 80% there. He needs that extra little practice. Maybe watch some Uzbekistan back kicks, uh, especially Lugbek, and get that a little bit more extra twist on the back kick, shorten it up just a tiny bit so it can hit the front or near the bottom part of the hogu, and you'll be able to score the four points. Because the timing is good. The setup is good. China's using his front leg a little bit too often. Korea's trying to punish him for it, but he can't because the technique isn't quite honed enough for this for this guy. So you know see what I mean? So here's the opening. If if you had a back kick like Uzbek, like Uzbekistan, like those guys are doing right now, um, it's not the traditional back kick. I would not recommend someone try and break a board during their belt testing with this kind of kick. This is purely for Taekwondo Olympic style sparring. The opening is right here. Boom. Okay. There's up the middle. We tried that, right? Right here. Oh <sighs> slight delay here. So this is the target. It's it's near the it, the target area when you're doing your back kick now. Um, is either going is is like this front part. Some people cover a little bit more. Where's my epic pen? Some people cover a little bit more aggressively. Get this going. Pull this to the side. So obviously the target area is right here. This is the target area, right? But sometimes you run into opponents where the arm instead of being right here is actually across the front. And so in which case you want your back kick to hit this back area. So either way, you want to aim for a short, tight, low back kick that's hitting the bottom of the hogu. As far as I can tell, that's the way Uzbekistan's been doing it. In Uzbekistan, the whole team has been winning. So a new back kick for a new Taekwondo age seems to be this short little spin back kick to the body. Like I said, don't count on breaking a board with it. I would not suggest doing this in a street fight. This is purely to score some points. Good idea here by good 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 ideas by Korea. Just a little bit adjustment in my opinion. Obviously, this is easy for me to say. I'm sitting at home in the comfort of my own home. I got to rewatch this on rewind. Yeah, small small edit would just be to you know do that little uh, do that little adjustment to make it a little bit shorter. Always feels bad when the battery comes out of your headgear. Switch punch. Oh, China trying to show him how it's done there. Because why? Denial of fight? Oh, because he's running away, I guess. So this guy has a decent Daehoon kick. I think Daehoon style inside kick. Close. I think, is he fading away? He's kind of fading away. I think Daehoon keeps his, so the reason it's not connecting is because he's fading as he's doing it. He's yeah, his moment you can see his you can see in this clip his momentum's kind of backwards a little bit. You want to keep your foot grounded here and then kicking forward. So even if this dude dude's head does lean away, you're you're able to you're, you're still able to hit the area, right? You don't want um you don't want him fading too far away from the kick, which is what's happening right now. Going backwards just a little bit. You want to hold your ground and go forward. Unless you're finding a Brandon Bradley Sinden and someone who's trying to bully you in this clinch. This guy's disengaging as the clinch happens. Interesting call by the refs. Oh, snazzy, 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 snazzy. So clean. Holy cow. All right, so there's been a lot of action this match. I'm breaking down different 
different ideas by Korea um, as he's trying to crawl up this uphill battle because he's losing against China. This is really good on China's part to adapt because a lot of his initial kicks have just been to the body. You can rewatch this. I've just been like, um, I've just been rewatching this, this little exchange is going on in China. 95%, 90, 95% of the time is starting the attack directly to the body with his front leg. I don't think he's ever flipped it from the body to the face a single time. So this little setup is really, really good. Kind of out of nowhere. There's no reason for the adjustment to happen. A little exchange happened. No points were scored. There's no, there's no turn of the tables. This kind of just different idea, different target, giving the same look. Good job on that by China. So good. Good job, sir. That also didn't need a... I don't think that needed to count. I don't, there's not a lot of sound coming out of here, but I don't think that needed to count. I mean, yeah, maybe surprising. I don't know if it needs to count though. Wait one sec. Also, is there, is there a, was there an extra point given because of the count? What's the score? What's the score, sir? That, oh, no, 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 no extra point. Okay. I was just trying to make sure they didn't give an extra point. All right. Forgot if that was still a thing. Predicting he's trying with that back leg. Try, good try. Get your hands out of there because he's gonna call you for holding again. Nice try. Up the middle. Good job by Korea there. Up the middle. Up the middle. No, he can't. He can't. Oh, you got a kick. Kick. Holding. We called him for holding. Told him to call him for holding. Interesting. Card, 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 stay ready. If you guys are calling for your card, take note, stay ready. Oh, he knows that headshot might be coming up the middle. He's just giving it away to the body here. Okay, maybe the call by the coach was made. Don't, don't go up the middle anymore. Just fight him in the clinch. You seem to be winning that battle. Clinch for clinch. 9 to 11. Okay, we're just going to have a front leg little, or right leg to right leg, right leg to left leg, a little war in the clinch here. But it's not a bad call by the coach. Whoa, careful. Did I hit someone's chin? Nope. Good call by the Korea coach here. You're scoring in the clinch. Please keep playing that game. Korea said, okay, let's go. Can try. For no, don't stand there, sir. I don't know, man. I don't know about these calls. Guys, try it. Nice try by, um, by China. So, I guess I'm reiterating this obviously in um, hindsight 2020. Good idea by Korea here. Uh, like I say in my other videos, if someone's crowding you a lot, coming in all the time, like Junsei Obey, your best idea is to go straight for their face and short because they're most likely gonna try and crash in on you. So they're gonna run straight into your foot. Good job. Good adaptations here by China. Good job. Actually, I take that back. The way he kicked this, I think he was just going for like a timing reset little um little juke so if you notice it, it, lo it landed down here if he was expecting him to come in it would have come up here like kind of in this area but because it came here my thoughts for in this scenario there he knows he's standing in distance when the co the ref breaks it almost made it almost Nice. Nice. Uh, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Oh, the gum junk gonna make it a tie game. What do you do in this scenario? In this scenario, actually, if Korea has that back a little bit more dialed in at this point, would be after right after this reset would be a good idea to throw it. Um, a little bit of motion, maybe poke with your front leg, give the same look that it's gonna look like a. That's not gonna be a back kick. It's gonna be a front leg war again. Or I'm gonna go into the clinch. Wait for China's front leg to come up and then throw the back kick would not be a bad idea. For China right now, uh, Korea's crashing in a little bit. How have you been scoring? China's been scoring a lot in the clinch as well uh, and a lot of head kicks coming from the right leg. Yeah, as far as China, you kind of just get them brawled out because the way that you scored the initial points, I think from the inside in the clinch is where Korea is more ready now. He's a little bit more up for fighting while close so 
that door is not quite as open as it used to be, but you are still scoring in a clinch. So, sorry, there's like a spider hanging up here. Um, so yeah, not not bad. I think for China, the adjustment would be to be ready to fight a little bit more in the clinch and mix in maybe some head kicks using the other leg while fighting in that little clinch space. Did a replay. Korea's still down by one. Oh, perfect. Just kidding. So I said all that, and then um, I said Korea's going to be ready to fight in the clinch, and it doesn't seem like he was really that ready to fight in the clinch. Good punch there. I thought this was going to go three rounds because of the length of the video, but there's a lot of breaks, so I think that's what it is. I don't know if China can make this up. Oh, I mean, I don't know if Korea can make this up anymore. So, oh, that was so close. Did a replay by Korea here. Said no, I think China's just defending. That's a win. Yeah. That's just, okay. We're getting kind of close here. Oh, the cameraman. Ooh, good fight by these guys. Um, so game point here, the winner winning, winning idea here by China right after video replay. Nice job. Good job by China to get in there and do work to the head. So overall, I would say great, great ideas out of Korea. Good job uh, adapting to try and trap the front leg. I think the small, like I said, this hard, the whole video, small, small, small adjustment into the back kick and you got it. Trying to hear great adaptations, knowing that there's a lot of um, pattern conditioning using that front leg, going flip to the face and in the clinch. Um, good job using those out in crescent kicks. And then I don't, this is probably not, Part of the strategy, but he did for a while in the clinch lull the fight to where it was body, 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 like huge body, um, career shoot body, the alternate legs, and it's all body shots both sides. And I don't, I don't think it was like intentionally like I'm gonna do this so he drops his guard for the head later in the round. That doesn't seem like part of the strategy. It was probably when Korea started fighting like that, scoring points. China's coach or China said, okay, we got to score some points. So that's the way they were doing it in the clinch. Um, and then sure enough, after a break, a video replay break, I don't know how long it was because they cut it out. China went straight back to the original strategy, which was let's go for your head right when it goes in the clinch. And that worked very well to secure him the win here. So a lot of this guys, a uh, slightly longer video, I guess when it didn't have to be, but what I would like to say to you guys is if there's a variable that works, and your opponent is covering it, you need to introduce other variables. You need to change the look. You need to change the way you're finding a slight a bit. And then you can go back to that variable and maybe it'll open the door again. Um, if you use that variable too much, you're going to start getting countered the way Korea was getting countered here at the end of like middle end of the first round. Um, you'll know if your opponent is countering you, if you're doing the counter right away or they're faking and they're doing the counter and doing the adaptation, you're, you're getting got. So change the look. And then maybe if it was a good idea and it was open and it was close and you just need a little bit of critique on it, maybe then go back to the original one that was uh, scoring or almost scored. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.